Okay, we're gonna do a little comm system install right now on the Cryos. And so we've got our Cena 10U for Cryos right here. We're gonna pull this thing out of the box and do a quick install for you guys. Let's pop open the box and see what we've got going on inside here. Okay, so you got a couple different parts we got going on right here. This is the control that you can use by hand. You can stick it onto your handlebar right there. We're gonna set that aside. And then as we start to pull these parts out, you're gonna see this is the piece that's gonna go on the outside of the helmet. This is your control center and it is wired to the main body and the brains of the unit right here. We've got a speaker, a secondary speaker, and the antenna. The antenna is going to go up into the side of the helmet. When we put this on, I'm going to use a basic putty knife tool. You can use anything that you can find in the kitchen that's a, an equivalent. You don't have to go out and buy that tool, but it's definitely going to make the install easier for you. Okay, I've got everything pulled out of the box right now. You're going to see you've got an instruction manual that's inside. When you open the box, open the bottom of the box and you're going to find all the extras that you've got in there. You've got your power cord, you've got extra adhesives and Velcro right here. You've got your microphone in your bag, your main component system right here, okay, which is the main controls, the antenna, the speakers, and the main brains of the unit. And then you've also got your handlebar control and your handlebar grips right here. Uh, probably the easiest way for you to do this, especially if it's your first time installing a comm system, take the peak visor, take the uh, face shield, take everything off right now. It's going to give you easy access to inside. Again, find something soft and comfortable to put your helmet on. You don't want to mar it up before you even get to ride. What we're going to do right now is you're going to see that I've taken the chin skirt out. I'm going to go ahead and remove the rest of what's in here, which is basically two cheek pads and a headliner. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the cheek pads out of here. First thing you wanna do is make sure you undo your buckle set up on the inside. Get your standard D-ring buckle right here. Get that out first, make things a lot easier. Once you do that, you're gonna hear that there's Velcro attached to the side of the cheek pads. You just wanna pull those open and then gently pull this out all the way around. Okay, you wanna do that on both sides. that over here as well. You're going to see that the cheek pad is actually attached to a semi neck roll and that's to reduce buffeting. So as you pull this through it lines all the way back in through here. So just pull this out kind of easy. Just make sure if you get to any parts where it's really in there good. Gently pull up on it and pull out. Little snap right there. You'll pull that out. So we've got both of our cheek pads off now and we've got the internal liner system right here. What you can do there is you can see it's connected in these three parts and just gently pull those out from the sides and then right down the center. Okay, loosen it up a little bit here and then you come in the back and you've got a couple of snaps right here and it just comes right out like that. Set those guys aside. All right, I'm gonna tilt the helmet toward you guys right now. What I'm gonna show you is we're gonna take a basic putty knife type tool. You can use something in the house that's, that's an equivalent, but what we wanna do is we wanna just create a little space here. This is gonna be for the antenna. Right up the side, on actually the left side of the helmet right here where it needs to go, right where the two EPS liners come into contact right here. So take this, use a little patience, and just work that up in there, just separating a little bit of the glue from the EPS to make a cavity there so you can put in this guy. Okay, you can see how this setup goes right here. This is actually gonna go basically on the back of the helmet. So it looks like a lot of parts, but it's actually pretty easy. You just start doing it one by one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see that over here, we're gonna move these out of the way. We're gonna take our antenna right here and gently put it into that slot that we've created and slowly just slide it in and back up into that cavity that we've created right until it disappears like that. So you got yourself in there now, your antenna's in place and now you can start to install the rest. Okay, you're gonna see these loops right here and you're gonna see that it can slide a little bit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna line these line these guys up with the back of the uh, internal liner. But before we do that, we can see that we can go ahead and place our speakers in the general position that we want them. So go ahead and just kind of get them started. And what you want to try to do as you do this is think about the wires and where you want them, try to get those out of the way. 
Same thing over here. This guy is going to go on onto the side over here. So for now, we will not worry about that. We'll get our other speaker to the inside and placed. <clears throat> and then let's go ahead and get that internal liner inside. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install the microphone on here. Got a little piece of Velcro as well that came out of this pack right here. So we're going to take that and we're going to uh, put it onto the inside of the EPS around the front chin bar. But I want to show you that there's two different wires in here. You might be wondering, what's this wire for? This wire connects to the speaker on the right side. It's for your FM radio. Some people like to use it, some don't. If you want to connect it, you stick this onto the right side speaker and you can just stuff it behind the cheek pad and back up into the liner. For best results, if you feed this thing up into the top of the crown liner and get it closer to the sky, you're going to get better results. Just want to make sure you're aware of that right there. So I'm going to tilt this over to you guys now and see if we can get you in there and see that a little bit. Here's your microphone cable right here and that's going to fall a little bit right there. But let's go ahead and take this guy, connect him. Okay, you're engaged now there. Let's get your Velcro little tab right here and let's stick this to the inside. Remember, you want this up close to your face, but you don't want tons of dirt getting to it. Put it wherever you want to put it. I'm going to stick it up just on the inside right there. Just set it preliminarily right there. So what we're going to want to do now is put our internal liner and cheek pads on kind of methodically. That way we can feed our wires in. You can go back and adjust it later after you've set it. The best thing to do is just get the thing in there and get started and then go from there. I've got the crown liner in my hand. We've got two snaps in the back and we want to feed those into the CNE unit in the back right now. So let's go ahead and get this thing down in there. We'll worry about everything else as we go. What we want to do right now is just focus on getting this guy set up right here, making sure our tabs align and as much of the wirings out of the way as possible. Okay. Hold one snap there. And there's the other one there. Okay, so believe it or not, this guy is in. Now that it's in, you can swivel it around, make sure it's where you want it. And what we can start to do is feed everything else through. So you want to get your helmet strap buckles, make sure that they're in the right spot, which are going to be down and through. And then we can start working in the rest of the crown liner. The same way we took it out, we're just going to want to feed it in. Take your time, do it right. It's actually pretty easy. Step by step. Over here, and get this last guy in here. Okay, you're uh, about 80% of the way done now. So you can see our speakers are in. This might be a time where you might want to readjust your microphone. Get your speakers right about where your ears are. They're going to be behind the cheek pads. That's all right. Just get them in alignment of where you want to be. And then as you put things together, start to fish your um, wires into place. Make sure things are out of the way best as possible. Now's a good time, too, if you want to go ahead and fix your controls on the side right here. Uh, it's good, it's good um, adhesive, so just make sure when you pull this off, you are ready to set this guy. And just basically in the general area that you think your natural movement is going to come up and hit those controls. We have designed it to be nice and easy. Press down on it and it is on there. Okay, guys, almost done. Let's go ahead and get our final tool pieces, the, the cheek pads installed. I'm going to work on the more uh, intricate side first, the side that's got more going on. So we've got the wiring to the main controls here. We've got the uh, microphone speaker wire. Let's get this guy in before we have anything going on over here. So what I'm going to do first is get my D-ring buckle through. <clears throat> I'm going to worry about hiding most of the wiring later. The first thing I want to do is just make sure I get this guy aligned and take my time as I feed this in. Don't worry about the Velcro just yet. Just go ahead and get this guy worked in slowly. And we designed this thing to be able to work and, and reattach over the CNE unit. It just takes a little bit of a little bit of effort working that in there. You can always come back when you're done and really button everything up. 
So you can see that we're in there now. And what I can do now is I can come over, make sure that's out of the way, make sure this guy's closed in. And the beautiful part about this whole setup being Velcro is it's nice and easy just to attach, hide the wiring, make sure you're in the right spot. And you can see, if you can see right there, the microphone is just coming out right where you want it, right beyond the cheek pad. Okay, so one side in, we'll get the other side going. This side should be just a little bit easier for you. Number one, because there's less wires. Number two, because you just did the other side, so you should be well oiled. Just fish it through. Do it slowly. Make sure you get it in there right. Make sure that Cena system is set where you want it. It's not going to go anywhere because it's snapped in. And then pull this guy tight right here. Okay, guys, believe it or not, that's it for the Cena Com system install. Why don't you click the link below? It's going to take you to all the rest of the information on how to actually operate the system, get you on your way to, uh, to riding with the Cena with Bluetooth for the Climb Cryos.